afternoon ladies and gentlemen. We're down here at the range today. Uh, we decided to make our life a little bit more complicated. We added in a new uh, piece of an equipment. Uh, we are playing with the uh, long shot uh, uh, targeting camera system. We'll have these feeds uh, edited into the video. Uh, I'm going to let Pa tell you what he's got going on on his end and uh, hopefully we can put some uh, bullets on target and not pull our hair out today. Alright Paul, what you got going on? Just today we took in the uh, loop of grass, an all primer pocket. The holes have been enlarged to the standard larger uh, hole. A little comparison to see what the velocity change if any. That's about it. Yes sir, send it when you're ready. <laughs> my half pound trigger pull seemed heavy for a minute. A half pound and a heavy trigger? Yeah. 2875. 28. Yep. Okay. And as you can see, we have got a. We are now able to see that back here from where we are. Ready? Sender. Twenty eight seventy two. Let me uh, do a little bit of adjustment right here, Pa. Okay. Oh, that's about as close as touching. Let's see if y'all can get that in there. I'm not going to continue to put the camera up here. Like I said, I'm going to splice in the video feeds when I edit this video. Ready? Send it when you're ready. Twenty-eight sixty-nine. Boy, that one dropped down about a half inch, didn't it? Yeah, I, I think I moved it. Ah, my headphone hits this stock. Uh huh. It's just my position is not good. Well, we need to get you comfortable. Send her when you're ready. Okay, now I gotta make an adjustment. Okay. For some reason, my uh, my phone isn't capturing the spots. Hmm. Uh, what I'm seeing right there, you it's on your phone. You got the same thing on yours as I do. Can you my... capture your spot on the target? Yeah, it's uh, yeah, you uh. Can you mark the spots on your target? Uh, I can, but I don't want to mark on this phone because oh, this okay. phone's recording the That's overall fine. target. Well, let me take that back. We are not recording on this phone them shots. I've got to get used to working the bat also. Alright, now I'm recording the shots on the uh, target. The first three shots will not be on the target cam, but I will have them on the uh, overall target cam down there. Like I said, we just needed another piece of electronics to add in the mix. Okay. Alright. Yep. Alright, come on, let me set you up. Okay. That last shot was 28.69. We got three shots on the target already. All right, Pa, send it when you're ready, sir. And that that went uh right at about three quarters of. 
of an inch to the left. That's adjusted the scope. Yes, sir. That was 2880. Well, I see one up a little. That's four shots on target. Yeah, I do like being able to see where the bullets are hitting back here. I gotta say that. Easy, huh? Yes, sir. Ready? Send her when you're ready. Twenty-eight ninety-five. At least your uh, numbers are tight. Yeah. And you got a nice three-hole uh, group going on right there. Yeah, just a one hole. Yeah. It's kind of bugged out there, but close enough for government work. Not well, what we're looking for, but it, still. It proves that the increasing the flash hole diameter to standard uh -huh. large in a small rifle primer magnum. Lapua. It does increase my velocity. Um, and my velocity, I didn't want to be 2900. I wanted to be 2850. So I'm a little hot. Uh, I'm at 41.1. I'll probably back this down to 41.0 or maybe 39.9. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, let me know when you get ready to change series. Okay, you can change series. Change series. Ready? Send her when you're ready. Twenty nine twenty four. Hey. That went up. Yeah. This is a form case. The previous ones were on form cases. Well, they're a full length size? Yeah, yeah, they're four strip full length die. Custom full length die. Mm -hmm. well, that one you you're up, what about two inches high? About a half inch off center to the left. Uh, I'm vertical now. So the increase in speed moved it up. Hang on. All right, Cinder, when are you ready? Twenty nine oh four. About a half inch above the other one. Yeah, I, I drifted up on that one. All right? Send her when you're ready. Oh, that was hole in hole. Yeah. Yeah, that was good, right there. That was hole in hole. Twenty nine oh nine. All right, you ready? Yeah. Send her when you're ready. Twenty nine oh three. Yeah. All right. Send her when you're ready, sir. Boom, 
right below your first shot. That was twenty-eight ninety-seven. This I dropped the load to 40.6, but the primer goes to large magnum. All right, we still on the last one, right? I'm going up, target upright. Uh, you want a new series? New series. All right, hang on a second. Uh, still 130 grain bullets? Yeah. Large rifle primer. Okay, large rifle primer. Magnum. Okay. Bed 215. Send it when you're ready. Okay. Uh, which target are you on, Pa? You going Upper at, right. Upper right. You got me? Yes, sir. Send it when you're ready. Inch and a half to the left, about a half inch off the uh, center to the left. Velocity the same as the 2890. <laughs> Dead center, quarter inch up off the of center. 28.42. Man, your velocities have gone down. So you're out there dead center, half inch off the center. Velocity? 28.76. Ever since we uh, did that, uh, the uh, revision update on the uh, lab radar and changed software, but I'm actually using the old software with the new revision <laughs> on the uh, S7. But it, it seems to be running pretty dang good. Send it when you're ready. <laughs> oh, that went all the way I over to the, over right. to the right. Half inch. Yeah. I do like being able to see your target when you pull the trigger. Yeah. <laughs> you don't make too many missed calls. <laughs> okay. Last shot, steel plate. Last shot here is going on the steel plate. Yeah, that's at the 300. Okay. Uh, boy, can't really see that damn 300 plate. It is behind a bunch of bush. You got to, can you take it out to 400 or take it on down to 500, Pop? Well, okay. Well. Ready? Yes, sir. Send her when you're ready. Boy, I wait to see if I can hear the team. I'm not sure how many MOA I have to adjust on this. <laughs> I just noticed something, Pa. Huh? Uh, we're out here filming, and basically the way we, on, on this end, we have to set up, well, it's not on feed. <laughs> <laughs> I got the top of your head in the, in the frame. It's not showing the shirt you're wearing. Mine, your daughter, kill me to let them if they seen that. 
unless you come out dressed like that. You got a hole right here. <laughs> Your neck's ripped out here. <laughs> Uh, hang on a second, Pa. You're going to going to the bottom left. Bottom uh, excuse right. me, bottom right. It's armed. Okay, light me up. Send her when you're ready. Target the. Okay. I was right on the cross of perfect in it. Inch and a quarter up dead center. Yeah. It's a quarter inch high. That was an inch dead and a center. quarter high. 2,900. Okay. 2,900. So it says I can drop this load another half a grain. Okay. Was that your last shot? Yep, that's it. All right. Uh, we had what three series? All right, on series one, pa. Huh? On series one, uh, your average was twenty-eight eighty. Uh, your stream spread was twenty-six. Your standard deviation was ten point six. Yeah, that had a lot of different bullets in there. But That's that wasn't all that bad. On series two. Your average was 2907. You had an extreme spread of 26 and a standard deviation of 10. All right, on series three, you had an extreme spread of 58, a standard deviation of 24.0. That was the one you were talking about. That last series is the one that had a lot of different bullets in it, right? Yeah. Yeah, that was your number wise, your worst series. But then again, this shoot was basically, it was intended to go out at 200 and uh, test out this uh, long shot uh, target camera. Yeah, it confirmed the fact that larger hole on this powder is better. And now, I, can, I can drop my load now and probably pick up accuracy. You keep saying that. Now you're talking about Lapua small rifle primer yep. cases. You expanded this, it to this standard. This powder, small ball, <coughs> small ball powder, uh -huh. doesn't like small flash holes. Okay. And which powder are you using in this shoot? Winchester today? 760. Winchester 760. Mm -hmm. I know in our previous shoots audit, uh, it shows real good promise. I mean, you got some very tight groups with it, mm -hmm. just out. This is when we wasn't recording, just actually having fun and shooting. <laughs> All right, Pa, tell us about your target. Okay, today's shoot is basically testing the flash hall size in Lupa small rifle primer brass. This is the Lupa small flash hall. This is the Lupa three shots increased size flash hole to the standard. I got more velocity, group looked like it improved. Um, our shots were a little hot today, we're in the 29s, I want to be about 28.50. Uh, we then played around with uh, brass that's formed and brass that's unformed. This group here was formed brass, Small primer, magnum, small hole. So we definitely want to go to the increase the hole size with this Winchester 760 powder. It's a small uh, grain ball powder. It seems to like a large flash. When we put Federal 215 mags in there, our velocity shot up over 29. Uh, that's a little hot, uh, and the group kind of spread out. That's kind of where we were today. Uh, we learned some things. The next uh, session will be with uh, small rifle primer with the enlarged hull and a reduction in the powder volume. Try to keep in 2850 range of velocity. Uh, 
As you heard earlier, we're playing around with a new toy. It connection issues. Uh, it seems to be a sequence, at least in my cameras, both an Android, an uh, older Android, and a uh, not so old uh, ISO phone. Uh, once they're connected, it seems to be fine. Um, the two apps out there, the long shot app uh, that's recommended for this particular phone, um, says I really need a better phone. If you go through a Google search and you talk about uh, this marksman, they all say when I got that laptop or when I got the, uh, the tablet from marksman, all things work great. Mm -hmm. So it is a tablet issue. Hey, we appreciate y'all stopping by. Uh, uh, any questions, comments? Y'all have a good day. Thank you for stopping in.